Morning guys, it's Tuesday morning. Um, it's a little early. I'm off for a breakfast meeting today with the lovely team at Furla. Yeah, it's a nice early one. It's an 8.30 breakfast, so I'm up bright and early, which I always quite like because it gets me in a productive mood. I just, it just means that I'm looking a little bit puffy under the eyes. Uh, yeah, but that's where I'm off to now. This is what I'm wearing today. My grey Stroop Weitzman boots. I have my tan skirt on that I got from Reese, And this white blouse that I ironed the other day. <laughs> from me and M. And then over the top just kind of continue the brown, somewhat brown themes. I was going with my chocolate brown Reese. Aviator over the top. Just nice and kind of cozy and lots of layering. Which I quite like. I just made it to the Furla event. It's a beautiful breakfast event. It's beautiful. It looks beautiful. And look how pretty this bag is. And this one over here is so pretty. And it's absolutely gorgeous. So nice. This is my kind of breakfast. This looks delicious. And a latte. So nice. Miller is here looking absolutely beautiful as always. Actually, I see so much of you recently. It's so nice. I cannot wait to start this. I've got back to the house now. Hilariously, Alex was still in bed. Hey. By the time I got back, it was, it was actually hilarious. I walked into the bedroom and it was like, what time is it? What year is it? No. It was so funny. I heard the door go because I got an alarm. <laughs> so it bleeped and then I literally was like, what the hell? And I rolled over, put my arm down, expecting Vic to be there and she wasn't there. And I was like, what is even Did going also on? you thought someone was trying to get in? No, I didn't know. That's what I kind of assumed straight away once I realised you wasn't there. God. So I've been out for an event, got back, and he'd still been sleeping away, so he's yeah, had a great time. we had the worst night's sleep because somebody had ten night terrors Yeah, no, night. I did. I don't know if I mentioned this I thought this I was a monster in the bed. Yeah, I did. I thought Alex was some weirdo in the bed, and I even got my phone out and was shining a light over him, like, who is this? <laughs> so weird. So weird, so I had a bad night's sleep too. Um, anyway, so um, I've got out of those clothes. That's when that silky blouse and it gets really easily creased. So I've taken it off, got myself into my comfies. I've even got my long socks on. <laughs> Alex has made me a gava. Because I'm up and about and I'm kind of, I'm in a great mood today. I don't know why, because I had such a bad sleep, but I don't know, I'm just in a very happy mood today. I'm gonna have my coffee and then I'm gonna get to my desk. I'm just gonna quickly clean my desk, make it super productive space, a candle out, put my coffee there. Um, and I'm gonna work all day. I've got some bills to pay I've got you know those like menial tasks that you can't bother doing I've got lots of emails to get through I've got some admin stuff I've got train tickets to book like going home going to Edinburgh I'm doing a few little bits and bobs yeah it's a little bit of admin to, to do today so uh, yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing so if anything ex somewhat exciting comes up, then I'll, uh, I'll check back in. Okay, um, I've just taken off my eye makeup. I'm going to get my lashes LVL'd. This is one of my favourite times. Oh darn it, I forgot I was going to wash my hair earlier. Because I'm going to have to wash my hair at some point soon. So I have to have greasy hair tomorrow. Because I can't wash my hair when I've had my LVL's. Why not? Never mind. Because you can't get them wet or steamed. You need like little shower caps for your eyelashes. Yeah, I know. It's very difficult trying to wash your hair when you've had it done. I've tried, it's very difficult. Um, never mind. But yeah, that's where I'm going now. Well. Look at this mess. I know, sorry, so much mess. I'm back soon. Okay, love you, bye. You had a... Um... I had medium and small, didn't I? Medium and small. Um, so we've just finished off my LVL. How great do they look? Me and Debbie both agree that they look the best they've ever looked. Because today we went from medium shield here. Oh no, is it small shield on the outside? No. Medium shield on the outside, small on the inside. We did small on the inside and then medium on the outside to get more of a, a larger flick. So they look so good, I'm so happy. They definitely look the best I've ever looked. Thanks, Deb. I love them. We've just finished up a delicious Pizza Express delivery. Absolutely amazing, oh, absolutely delicious salad. All I wanted was a salad. I took ages coming up with what exactly I wanted to eat tonight and Alex wasn't happy about it. And finally I was like, I just want a salad. I just want a nice salad. So uh, yeah, had a really, really delicious dinner and uh, yeah, I'm so happy my Ted Baker images, my announcement of the fact that I am a face of Ted Baker this season just went out. Like I said, so proud, like I said yesterday, so, so proud. And it's just amazing to be able to tell everyone after obviously I, I mean I shot I shot the pictures ages ago so it's nice to be able to kind of tell everyone and get it out there. It's a very, very proud moment. I'm an amaretto and tonic. So I've got a few things I want to do. My desk 
It's pretty tidy today though. Feeling really good about it. I spent ages earlier giving it, I mean, this still needs doing because I'm going to go through my lipstick collection, which is over here at some point. I'm going to really downsize it. What am I, what am I wearing? I don't even know anymore. I've got some bits. I've got some bits of bobs that arrived today. This ASOS haul worries me a tad though with this ASOS haul because it arrived open. So the chances of everything being inside here is pretty slim. Um, but I bought all of this to do a big ASOS party wear haul. So I'm gonna leave that to B. I'm gonna actually check though first off if everything is in this bag. Wow, that's heavy. 10, 11. Yes, this is how much I bought. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Phew. Okay, everything is here. I'm not gonna show you this now though, because I want it to be a surprise when you actually watch the ASOS haul. Okay, um, next up are my things that arrived today. I'm excited! I had some, um, I had some vouchers to spend on Louisa Via Roma. You like build up points on Louisa Via Roma, it's like a point system and when you get a certain amount you can kind of redeem the points and you get like cash rewards. So I had some cash rewards to use. So I treated myself to something I don't have, which is a pair of classic, classic Oh my god. Classic Manolo's in the pink thread. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try it on. Let me drill down my sexy, sexy socks. It's like Cinderella moment. Cinderella moment. I really hope you can't see my bum from here. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. They are absolutely beautiful. Oh wow. Honestly, I don't think I've put on a shoe and felt this in love with it in a very, very long time. Which do you prefer? This one or this one? They are absolutely amazing. Absolutely, in like, amazing. Let me show Alex, let me show Alex. Babe, 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 look at my new shoes. Ooh, they're nice. How they? nice. They're the, the uh, Manolos. Oh, they're cool. Aren't they beautiful, babe? They're also very, like, business. Kind of. Yeah, they're quite, they're very classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're very sophisticated, elegant, classic shoes. They're shiny. They, they've got this like silver thread, thread yeah. that's running through the pink. I'm just gonna try on. Oh, oh god. I'm just gonna try on the other shoe just to double, double, double check that I'm definitely a size four and that I don't need a three and a half. So beautiful. I can't actually believe it's taken me this long. So nice, 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 like little Cinderella slippers. So happy! And for some reason, I've, I've never picked up a pair of these like cl like classic Manolos before because I've never managed to find the right colour. They come in so many different colours and fabrics and I've always looked and loved them but never found the colour that I absolutely adored until I saw these. I'll leave a link down below for exactly where you can get them from in this exact colourway. And I also just had to treat myself to some new things from the Corte. things that I kind of bought thinking I might send, potentially send back if I wasn't overly sure about them but I thought they were just some lovely new pieces for the winter. First one is this skirt from Dolce & Gabbana. It's super silky and lovely. It's really quite light, this new rose print. And I thought with a cute little body tucked in or even like a black cashmere knit to kind of mix up the textures it could be really nice. So I'm going to have to try that on and see what I think. Then, I need a dress for uh, the Gleam Christmas party. So, I saw this one from one of my faves. Self-portrait, of course. How gorgeous. This is absolutely beautiful. So beautiful. Very similar to the dress that I wore last night, though, I feel. The Fashion Awards, like, super similar, but to try it on and see what I think. It's very, very me. That's really, really gorgeous. I have just ordered another one actually because I wasn't sure. And it's actually another self-portrait dress, but very, very different and in a different colour. So I might have to ask you guys to help me decide which one to keep and which one to have as my party dress. Last one. I love this. As soon as I saw it online, I was like, oh, that is so me. And it's this. Kind of like a high neck, cut out shoulder blouse. I like it. I love this top. This is so great. It's got this like peplum frill and big like bell sleeves and it's like lovely cashmere. I don't know if it's cashmere but it's lovely knit. Such a cool shape, the cut out shoulders. 
This is an absolute keeper. I mean, this is gorgeous. It fits perfectly, this Dolce skirt. It's super silky. And to be honest, I didn't know if it would be silky or a different fabric. And to be honest, because it is silky, I'm a little bit worried that it wouldn't be able to keep its shape the same or might get ruined. But maybe I just need to see it with some heels on and a little top. Maybe because I'm wearing this knit with it, it's throwing me off a bit. Do you like it? I'm just not sure. Whereas this is an absolute keeper. I love it. Okay, so this dress is absolutely gorgeous. It really is. Like the details, the lace work, the fabrics are absolutely gorgeous. It's got this lovely slit in it. It's great, but I feel like if you're not showing your leg in the split, I feel a little bit like a Victorian, Victorian mistress. You know, like one of those Victorian like school teachers a little bit and also it's quite long even I've got some heels on it's still on the floor and that would book me so as beautiful as this is it's not right for this occasion well it's nearly 11 and I've spent hours just staring at my computer liking comments replying to comments from everyone who's left me the most insane incredible messages I've literally been like wiping away tears trying not to get my eyelashes wet <laughs> So with my LBL I can't get my lashes wet but I've been like Aah. and then my mum left me a really lovely comment on my Instagram just to say like how proud she is of me and oh god I want to get emotional again honestly I can't believe like the response like some sometimes it's it's hard to feel like you're in such a silo in this career that you sort of sat at your desk and you're doing these things and you've got cool things coming up and you're chatting to your managers and that's all you're speaking to all day and then you kind of forget what you've what you're doing and what you've actually done and what you've accomplished already and the challenges you've got over and what you what you've got coming out and it's and some I just need to take a step back I think sometimes and realize that how much I am actually doing and fitting into my days and on those days when I'm really hard on myself and I'm like you're not doing well enough you're not good enough I need to kind of get a list out and be like well you did this recently you did this and this was cool and this is what you've got to look forward to I need to I think I need to do that I think we all need to do that and kind of give ourselves more of a pat on the back for the cool things that we do that we don't give ourselves credit for. I'm absolutely over the moon by the response. It's just a bit insane, like, amazing. It's, Ted Baker's just a brand I love so much and I've just worked with them so many times and for them to kind of believe in me and support me and be like, we want you to be, like, the face of our campaign. It just means the absolute world, so. So I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just going to go to bed feeling super elated now, which is really, really nice. Probably going to go get a quick shower and get in bed with Alex and just chill out. Because I had such bad sleep last night, I don't want to be on my computer for much longer, so I'm just going to complete the clock off now. I mean, it is 11. I mean, it's ridiculously late. I don't think many other people work until 11 at night, but <laughs> I'm going to clock off now and go probably go to sleep about half 12 after I've kind of settled a bit. I will see you in the morning. Mwah.